Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to review this 2025 Chevy Traverse Z71 and I just reviewed the RS version as well. That is like more of just like an Astrui vehicle. This is more of like an off-road oriented vehicle. So this like looks way more aggressive than the RS I reviewed. We have a blacked out grill, blacked out Chevy emblem or Z71 badging over here. The main difference is that we have these red tow hooks down here and then we have a full metal skid plates down here your full metal skid plates down here so you don't have like worry about like like damaging the front end of this vehicle while off-roading and then we have this really nice headlight design which they like show this animation when you're like unlocking or locking the vehicle so that's really nice and our like main headlights are down here and we have real vents that goes right over here. So really nice design. And we ha and we also have these beefier all train uh, tires on the 18 inch rim. This is also more lifted than the RS version. So we have more ground clearance compared to just the, to like just the Traverse. And you have our blacked out Traverse badging on the side. And then in the back, this looks fantastic. So the headlights are like really, so, so really like the tail lights, they're like really nicely matched with this like black trim that goes all through this tailgate. So it's like really nicely made and designed. We have a quad exhaust, which is real. That is great. We have our Z71 badging. The only thing I wish was that they could have hidden that rear wiper right under the spoiler how they have it on the new Tahoe. And that looks really like a clean design instead of having that wiper just thick out of no fiber in there. Under the hood we have this 2.5 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. It makes 328 horsepower and 326 pound feet of torque is paired to an 8 speed automatic transmission. Which is then paired to a twin clutch all wheel drive system. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds if you have the trailering package. And then this is like great for off roading because this, is the, because this is like an light vehicle compared to the Tahoe, but you still have enough power to do off roading in this. Before we move on, I would really like to thank Chevrolet of Commerce. They like currently have like really like in high steels on like different vehicles and then they are also offering free lifetime warranty on like on all new vehicles purchased so starting with the interior this is quite similar to just the regular uh traverse as well but they did made some adjustments so for example we have cloth seats instead of the leather because it's like easier to clean when you're off-roading but they are still heated and then we have this steering wheel over here, which has the Z71 badging on this. And we have this really nice rear trimming, which goes all the way through the dashboard and it gives it a really nice touch. We even have our Z71 badging on our headrest as well, which is also covered by the rear hitching, which it goes around and it like also like matches with the Z and then also with our red on the dash really nice interior dash design we have really nice materials they are they like are all soft touch and then over here we have this really nice steering wheel which is heated the heather wrapped we also have like a built-in super cruise system as well which i will like go over in a bit on the right we have our controls for the radio and for this really nice gauge cluster over here we do have the super cruise feature and just regular adaptive cru uh, cruise control as well and we also have our blacked out chevy emblem in the middle so this is so cool. like this is like a really nice display we have all the features that we need and all the controls that we want it, it, it like does has different views to it I can also have the built-in Google Maps show up on this display as well. 
including like more like focused chores like driver assistance. And then moving on with the Super Cruise, I will have like a separate video out coming soon how it works in action but like the basic part is that it will only work on a road which has been like previously has been mapped by gm itself so then you need the onstar subscription which that works with and then it does use all of like, like the sensors and stuff to like keep the vehicle centered in the lane if you want to like change the lanes all you have to do is just like turn on the indicator it will automatically change the lanes for you and it will do it safely and then it can also like so like you, uh, so like you can also like use the super cruise feature, a uh, feature while you are towing. And then like how it works is that it's like fully hands free. You have this camera over here which will, like see you. If you're like paying attention to the road, then it should like work as it's intended to. If you're not paying attention, then it will like turn off the system for you. So like then you will have to drive it yourself. And then on the side we have this really nice gear shifter. So I'll pull up. Reserve, we're back, drive, go down, and then while you are in a reverse, we do have this really nice 360 degree HD clear quality camera system. We have different views for it. And then when you're towing, you also have that hitch over here. So like I can just check if it's right on target. And then since this is more focused for off-roading, we do have different uh, modes for that, which I will go over in a bit. But like the one tricky part is that like once you're in drive, you want to go into low gear, you have to press R, or, sorry, L over here. So now it's in low. So now I can just shift with these pistol shifters on the right. And then our mode selectors are over here on the side. So we have different modes. So we have normal just for cruising around and then it does affect the suspension as well. We also have sport and then we have off-roading and then it does give you more information if you click on it. So like how it's going and then how it should work. And then after that we have train mode. And then we can also like lock the front axles as well. So we also have the tow hole mode. Once again, it can, it can tow up to 5,000 pounds. And then we can also like choose our trailers over here. And then if you like do want to like check the heights, if they work and all that, we can also do that over here. So like, and we also have this like built in checklist to like just like go over if you have everything right, how it's going. And then uh, moving on with this display. This is a really nice display. It has all the features you need. We do have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it's like really snappy, really easy to use. And we have like a built-in Play Store, built-in Google. We have built-in Google Maps. You'll need an internet connection. We have built-in Google Maps as well. Like right now, this is in the Dehuma mode, so like all features do not work, but we still have built-in Google Maps, and then, it, and then it does get updates over the air, so it does always stay up to date. You don't have to worry about that. And then we have our controls, all that controls, but they did make like a shortcut on the side. So like, let's say I have maps open, I can still access that control so really easily with just like in a single touch. It does has how to high beams so it will automatically turn on the high beams if needed and then we do have automatic parking assist so this is like a really great feature so like there's like two uh modes one is to park the vehicle it will like park it for you we have like a perpendicular parallel to parking and the other is if you want to like get out of that parking space i can just press exit space and then choose these like different controls over here and then it should automatically like move the vehicle out of that parking space so it's like really easy if you can't see or it's like really hard to park for you you like you do not have enough room there we do have more controls this is our lane keep assist speed limiter and all that kind of good stuff
and here we do have all these headings for the vehicle and then if you want like so like if you like want to like pull up something on the right side over here which I can just edit what I want here so let's say I want audio I can have that on the side and then at the same time I can have something else open on the right side so it's like really easy to use it gives you all, all the information you need and then we also have our like climate controls which they always stay on so so like that's also that has also like a good thing if you're on the road it's the, so it's like easier to just like change your climate controls even though we have this we also have physical controls down below the other good touch is that when you're adjusting the volume you also get an uh, like an uh, like an like an indication on the right side and also the inside as well so that's like a really nice touch down below we do have now this charging pad one usb a one usb c port and a height port as well we have two cup holders over here more storage over here and then more storage down here starting with the back Really nice materials used overall, and then once again, we still have like a red stitching, which like me, like matches with the Z71 badging. Our Bose audio system, it sounds fairly good. And then starting with the back, I have like like a decent amount of room. It's like pretty similar to the RS in the number of features, but except that we do not have the sunroof. I do believe it's like available, but it's not standard. Uh, we also have rear climate controls. They are not heated seats, which we get in other trims, but we have really nice climate controls. Our air vents are over here. And then the other, uh, like the change I found was that in the RS trimming, you have like, you have like, uh, so like you have like a different type of air vents, which are on the side instead of the middle. So I'm not sure if that has to do anything with the performance related or like something else. Other than, other than that, it's like pretty like similar with the RS and the other trims. So starting with the trunk, we have pretty decent amount of room, more storage down here. 